Hey everybody, this is Chris and uh, I've already got one video out where I've done a repair with the camera on replacing a ribbon cable, um, but I wanted to give you one real quick one that you could just use as a reference, pass around and share with people that are having this problem. Uh, one problem that people are, you're starting to see a lot of is the bad ribbon cable uh, for the camera uh, where people have no FPV and then you'll get that green and yellow flashing light on the side. Um, a lot of people are having issues where they don't have FPV and it's right after they do the update and they say they have a bad ribbon cable. Um, I think the two are separate issues. I don't know for sure, but I would say that a, a firmware update is not going to destroy your ribbon cable. Uh, that's going to cause a different problem. So something may have gone wrong in their updates and they have no FPV, but it's not going to destroy your cable. So if you need a ribbon cable, it's probably a bad cable and that's just that. But uh, we're gonna do a video as quickly as I can to just show you how to take it out, replace that ribbon cable, put it back in and be done with it. And then in the end, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to deal with this gimbal protection cover. <laughs> uh, it's not easy to put on and uh, I, I'm gonna show you the way I do it to where it pretty much Hopefully, in this case, will go on perfectly. Uh, it goes on quick and easy the way I've, I've figured out to do it. Um, totally opposite from what I was originally doing. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera straight down on this and uh, show you how to remove and repair your ribbon cable. Remove the camera, replace that ribbon cable, put the camera back in real fast. Okay, so we have it upside down. And we're just going to do it real fast. You got one, two screws here. Take them out. Pop this off right here. Comes right off. You got a screw here and a screw here, a screw here and a screw here. Take all four of them out. Can't see that one. Take these two out. Take this one here. And that's it. So now you're just gonna tilt it back and you gotta bring this front out. So tilt it back, slide it backwards, get that front out, give you a different angle. So you can see this front Tilt this up and then you're going to slide backwards and out. Reason being is you've got the dampeners here that go up underneath like that. So you got to be careful. You got a ribbon cable that's still plugged in. You're going to tilt up, back, and out. So you got to remember that ribbon cable is in there. And that's what we're replacing. So for that, we're going to take a pry tool. Got my wrong hand here. I want to try to do this so you can see it. Okay. I'm going to take my pry tool, put it underneath there, unsnap that. You take the camera out, the gimbal. So now you have a bracket here. You only have to take one screw out. So you have two screws, sorry for the glare, but just loosen one. Be careful not to slip and hit your board. So I just loosened one. Now I'm going to take the other one out. That way we don't have to remove the bracket. We just slide the bracket out of our way like that. So now we can unplug this and replace it. So I don't have a new one. 
but let's pretend this one is. <laughs> so you want to line that back up, snap it in place. Be careful doing that so you don't bend the pins. And then we'll take this bracket and we'll put it back just like that. Take our screw, put it back in the bracket. Tighten it up. Tighten this other one up. And then we're going to put it back in. And remember when you put it back in, you want to have it fold just like you see it there. That way when it's down on here, it's got full pressure against this pad. So if you just have the plug itself sitting on that pad, it's not going to give you enough pressure. You might have a bad connection and lose your FPV that way. That's something to first check before replacing the cable is just to make sure that the connections are all good. Check that connection, check that connection, and uh, make sure they're good, and then check your FPV. If not, chances are you need a new cable. So here's the tricky part. I'm going to unfold it a little bit here and just line it up and I'm going to block the camera but I'm going to line it up you can see it in there and then I'm going to stick my pinky down in there and I'm going to plug it back in so get it lined up and snap it in place okay see plugged in and now when I push back and put it in it's going to automatically fold the way it was on the creases but you got to get that front in first just like that and then bring it down and that's how you replace that cable and put it back in and then of course you put all your screws back put the four screws back in here Whenever I'm doing this, something like this, I feel like I should uh, just talk with you guys. Beautiful weather we're having today, huh? <laughs> All right, so that's that. Snaps right back in place. You got a tab here and a tab here. Just put it on there and press. Snaps in place. Two screws. Don't forget to stick around at the end of the video so I can show you how uh, I do the gimbal cover, the gimbal protector cover. Uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one <clears throat> that uh, has fumbled with it. So I'll show you that next. But there you have it. We quickly took this baby out, replaced the cable, put it back in, and done. And then you're going to connect, and hopefully you have FPV. This has been a problem here lately. I don't know what's going on, but Hubson's given some bad cables. Some people have some uh, loss of FPV after updates. I don't know the answer there, uh, but I think it's actually something with the update process, not the cable itself. Cable, uh, I, I don't see a firmware update destroying your cable. I don't know how that's even possible. So uh, let's go and put the gimbal cover on next and show you how I do that. All right, so we replaced it. Let's just show you real fast how to um, put the gimbal cover on um, nice and quick without uh, fumbling around. And I'll show you how I was doing it. <laughs> I was going on it, I was thinking and I think a lot of people do this going at an angle because you have to hook the front, the front of that up, up inside here. So your natural approach is to come up like this, but it ends up hitting against the camera 
and gimbal and uh, you just can't get it on very easily. Now what I found, hopefully it'll do it easy for me now, I'm going to try to show you this best as possible, but what I found is if I just come straight up like so, and it's not being easy for me, there we go, come up nice and straight and you can see the gap there. Now is when you want to tilt it. Tilt it and get that front end and then that, snap it in the back. Just like that. So very easy as long as you come up straight. If you come in this way, it's you're going to fight it and fight it and fight it. And you might also damage it if you try to force it. But uh, it's better if you're looking on like this because you can see the sides and uh, just come up straight because you there's some indentions in there that you need to catch so once you're at this point right here you want to get that front end snap the back real simple so that was it how to do the uh, removal and of the camera gimbal replace the ribbon cable put it all back together and you're done with it hopefully you have FPV uh, that ribbon cable is something you should order and just keep aside Put it in your little arsenal of must-haves for the Zeno 2 because chances are one day you're going to need it. So thank you everybody for watching my video, subscribing. If you're new to my channel, hit it now. Hit that bell for future content. And as always, thumbs up on the way out. And I will talk to you on the next video. Take care.